Hello students. Today I am going to discuss about the topic of component and food, which is basically in class six standard science and CRT. Okay. So this uh, chapter contains uh, these types of things, and uh, I am gonna discuss uh, individual individually about them. Okay. So uh, components of food. As uh, you all know that this topic uh, generally covers the uh, components of various food uh, nutrients, various food uh, comp various food materials that are used uh, that are uh, that gives us uh, energy and various other things that are uh, that I am going to discuss in the upcoming time. Okay, so the very first part is uh, nutrients. So. Uh, basically what is nutrient uh, before uh, entering the uh, remaining part of the entering the main part that uh, and we should aware of uh, uh, nutrients so what is nutrients the food that we eat generally why do we need food first of all the question arises uh, to our mind uh, should be that why should we need food why should we eat food we should eat food. Uh, we basically uh, generally a uh, general concept is we need food to uh, food gives us energy and we need energy so uh, we need food but how but how the food gives us energy that is going to be covered in this chapter okay so uh, food uh, food is uh, when we eat food the food are basically is complex component a uh, complex but they are made of some various components which is uh, called the nutrients there are six types of nutrients in uh, food components various food components uh, some food component some food have some part of uh, some nutrients are uh, uh, the quantity of some nutrients is greater than uh, greater in some of the food the quantity of uh, another nutrients is uh, great than uh, greater than uh, greater in another types of food okay so the basic six nutrients that we need to uh, need in our body for our body uh, build uh, for the body development and food and for providing energy is that uh, first of all the nutrients are first carbohydrate two protein three fat four vitamin five minerals and six you all know that is water what is like okay so these are the main nutrients that we that is being needed by our for our body in the form of food okay so uh that's the nutrients okay and the nourishment of our body by the nutrients is called nutrition okay so the very next topic is uh, a food why uh, how do we know that a food contains carbohydrate protein fats etc okay so there are uh, various tastes for uh, the convenience of this part okay so first of all the taste of uh, various starch that starch means carbohydrate carbohydrates or starch that is already that is stored in plants uh, during the after the process uh, process of photosynthesis um, you know that photosynthesis is the process uh, in which the plant uh, gives us uh, gives us oxygen but main things happen in photosynthesis that is plant stored uh, the carbohydrate that is end product of the reaction in photosynthesis in their various part of their body and we need that carbohydrate or starch from plants and basically the uh, basically we we intake carbohydrate from plants mainly and there are few carbohydrates present in animal body but we are uh, uh, get the protein part mainly from uh, animal body and there are also some plants some uh, plant products that are uh, that contain proteins okay so that's that's another part so now uh, the taste of starch okay first of all
first of all we uh, need some food materials uh, and uh, up and uh, we are going going to do a test uh, for observation that it had contains carbohydrate or not uh, mainly it's starch or not so what is the test first we take uh, some food sample or food uh, materials raw food raw food materials for experiment and uh, then uh, in a test tube or uh, in a tube in a container okay uh, there are some food materials and uh, what and we added some water 10 t uh, 10 uh, 10 drops of water okay to dilute it drops of water first added okay then after uh, after then we put iodine solution iodine solution iodine is an element uh, iodine solution okay in it then if we see after some time that uh, this food materials or this solution gets changed the color of this food materials get changed uh, blue or dark blue then it is uh, then proved that the food materials contains carbohydrate or starch because iodine uh, reacts with starch and change the color into blue okay this is a test for iodine very uh, for starch very basic test so a uh, next test uh, is for protein Okay, uh, the test for protein is a uh, little bit difficult than starch, uh, but not that difficult. Similarly, we take a tube, test tube. This is a test tube. This is used in chemical reactions, chemical uh, chemi chemistry labs, laboratory for uses. Okay, uh, mainly content, and we same same we. Uh, put it put us uh, raw materials of food inside it uh, Before that we have to mix if if it, it is not uh, in powder or if it is solid solid food substance then we first grind we first have to grind it and make a powder or uh, basically We have to punch it and make a powder and then we put it into the solution. So this is the powder of food materials and then we add uh, some water and shake it very well uh, so that uh, this powder can mix up with the water very well okay then uh, we first we have to uh, we have to put a caustic soda caustic soda uh, plus copper sulfate These are the uh, what is this? They are, you don't uh, have to know right now. Caustic soda is uh, sodium hydroxide, uh, which is a base base element. Uh, what is that? You don't uh, have to uh, don't get the knowledge right now. This is a higher topic. And copper sulfate, uh, two uh, drops of copper sulfate, and ten drops of approximately ten drops of caustic soda in that solution, and again shake it very well. Then. Uh, after some time, if you observe that the color changed into violet, okay, if the color changed into violet, then you we all uh, will all assure that the food materials contain proteins because uh, in this reaction. Uh, the caustic soda and the copper sulfate uh, reacts with the solution of a protein protein solution turns the turns it color into violet so this explains that the protein is exist in the food materials okay this is uh, a test of food protein and the next test uh, is <coughs> the test of fat Okay. Uh, 
the addition of fat is very easy you uh, you all uh, some of you have already done it throughout life uh, take a food materials that is basically oily some food materials or any food materials uh, in into a paper okay some paper and uh, grind and uh, mix it basically and grind the paper with that food materials very well after some after then you open you strengthen the uh, uh, paper and if you uh, and uh, hold it in the front of light and if you see that any dark any any oily patches oily patches in the paper then you are you become sure that the uh, made for food contains fat because fat means oil oily uh, things okay fat means oily things oily if you see the paper if you see uh, the paper has uh, uh, some oily patches in the place where you are grinding the uh, <coughs> uh, food with that paper then you become sure that the food materials contains some fats okay this is a very uh, easy test of fat no uh, lab laboratory uh, things no test tubes no other reactants and no nothing no none is needed okay so these are the test of protein uh, carbohydrate <coughs> mainly starch proteins and fats okay next uh, point is what is energy giving food and what is body building food uh, energy giving food that uh, we already know what the the six types of nutrients that are carbohydrate protein fats vitamins minerals and water among these carbohydrate and fruit and fats give uh, fats give us energy okay but basically uh, carbohydrates gives us energy and fats uh, gives us more energy than carbohydrates uh, because uh, uh, the 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 burning uh, the 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 energy produced in the kilocalories uh, produced from fats is much more greater than that of carbohydrates so these uh, carbohydrate and carbohydrate and fats are called energy giving food because they gives us energy energy giving food and protein protein does not give us any energy protein is used to make our muscles stronger make used to develop our body okay so protein is uh, protein is called so protein is called bodybuilding foods okay so what are the energy giving foods that are, that are carbohydrates and fats and protein is a bodybuilding food because it helps in uh, muscle building and the growth and development of our body okay so the next point is uh, dietary fibers okay. besides this all nutrient that is uh, carbohydrate protein fats uh, vitamins minerals waters we uh, our body still needs some uh, roughage you can say that uh, some roughage and uh, fibers uh, for uh, the, some of the essential uh, needs uh, this is that's our essential needs okay these are the dietary fiber dietary fibers means fibers fibers means this is a roughage and a bit, and mainly uh, uh, comes from uh, plant product okay uh, these fibers what what uh, do they done what do they uh, do they uh, when we intake uh, some uh, intake the food uh, they are digested in the inside our body okay and the undigested materials are undigested food components are uh, thrown out uh, thrown away from our body through digestion okay time to time as this un uh, this undigested food materials uh, these uh, dietary fibers are help us in the thrown out of the undigested food materials from our body okay this is called roughage this does not contain any nutrients but this is essential for our body to throw out uh, for throwing out the undigested materials uh, from our body okay so these are the dietary fibers or this is basically called roughage okay Next, come to the point that is uh, balanced diet. So, what is diet? Diet is basically nothing but uh, what we eat. Uh, what we eat uh, daily is our diet. Okay. Uh, 
balanced diet means diet which is, which is balanced that means uh, we have to need the six nutrients the various nutrients component uh, same uh, at the same uh, amount same quantity for our body you cannot uh, if you take excessive uh, excess uh, amount of carbohydrate and did not take any protein then then you you may suffer from the protein deficiency diseases or uh, if you take excessive fats uh, then you you may have to suffer from obesity obesity is nothing but the uh, expands expansion of our belly uh, which is uh, which is caused due to uh, the excessive storage of the fat inside our belly that is uh, that is very uh, critical uh, sometimes in nature because uh, fats uh, are uh, uh, responsible for the uh, for uh, increasing the cholesterol in our blood which is then caused the heart uh, failure and various diseases so uh, this uh, so we need what we need we need is uh, we need to get very uh, the every each and every nutrients at, at the same amount or same or uh, required amount not too much high or not too much low that is called the balanced diet okay After then come to the next topic that is the deficiency diseases. Deficiency means you know that uh, deficient of the nutrients uh, depend uh, we, uh, if any nutrients uh, is uh, deficient uh, in our body then we have to suffer uh, the disease deficiency disease due to that nutrients. Uh, so various deficiency diseases uh, this is for the deficiency diseases and various deficiency diseases uh, mainly uh, from uh, the definition of uh, 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 deficiency of uh, vitamins and minerals are discussed in the topic in this chapter but there are also various deficiency diseases due to carbohydrates due to proteins due to fats okay uh, functions and deficiency of uh, deficiency diseases of vitamins and minerals that's the, these are the very important part of this chapter uh, many questions can be asked from this part okay uh, so there are various vitamins uh, <coughs> vitamins a vitamin a b there are 12 parts of uh, 12 uh, uh, parts of the vitamin b b1 b2 b3 uh, b1 b2 b3 dot, dot, b12 so this is uh, basically called vitamin b complex because uh, vitamin a is only one vitamin but vitamin B has 12 various types of vitamins. So vitamin B is not a unit thing. Okay. Vitamin B, vitamin uh, C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. Okay. These are the vitamins. Uh, there are various uh, scientific names of these vitamins. Okay. <coughs> so uh, each vitamin has each. Uh, Particular vitamins had, had their particular functions in our body, uh, particular essentiality in our body. Uh, so uh, that we are discussing through now. Okay. So first of all, coming to the vitamin A. Vitamin A is essential for the healthy eyes and skin in our body. Okay. Vitamin A is essential for our body for our healthy eyes and skin. Uh, and the deficiency of vitamin A must cause to the uh, loss of vision. Okay, if uh, you uh, if a person have a deficiency of vitamin A, vitamin A, he may not see anything in uh, darkness. Okay, uh, so that the loss of vision is a deficiency disease of a vitamin A. Coming to the next, uh, vitamin B one. B uh, various B, but but you uh, in this chapter in this class six uh, there are B one. Okay, the uh, vitamin B, uh, B1 is also essential for our body. For uh, vitamin B is basically uh, uh, you are basically responsible for the uh, pro protection uh, from the uh, bacteria protections of our body, and uh, there are other things uh, uh, that are responsible uh, in, in, in which uh, the vitamin B complex is responsible. Okay, so uh, vitamin B1, yeah, the deficiency disease of vitamin B1 is. 
the lo uh, said the loss of um, proper immunity okay and uh, proper immunity lack and you must cause <coughs> uh you must uh someone some person who have deficiency of vitamin b can suffer from various diseases due to lack of immunity coming to the next point uh, next vitamin that is vitamin c vitamin c is uh vitamin c uh, is essential for our uh, teeth teeth okay teeth uh, and skins also uh vitamin c but vitamin c has a uh, disadvantage uh, where uh, vitamin c uh, du uh, during cooking food the some of the essential nutrients uh, may have lost from that food okay and vitamin c is uh, totally almost totally destroyed by cooking by cooking some food by that heat by that heat uh, when we cook some food the heat cook, uh, the food is heated and that heat uh, destroys the vitamin C so we basically did not get any vitamin C from our food from our diets vitamin C uh, where we uh, get from it we uh, vitamin C uh, uh, we can get vitamin C from fresh fruits uh, from lemons from uh, apples uh, from basic uh, basic lemons and these types of foods and juice uh, fruits okay fresh fruits uh, vitamin C is responsible for, uh, as I said earlier, the vitamin C is responsible for uh, the health, for our healthy teeth, and uh, the deficiency disease of vitamin C is called the scurvy. Vitamin C uh, deficiency disease is called scurvy. S C U R V Y. This is the uh, mainly scurvy is what? This is a, a pro This is in uh, if it, uh, affection in teeth and gum problems, gum gum bleedings. Okay, so these are the deficiency disease of vitamin c and then comes to the vitamin d vitamin d is uh, basically vitamin d we have to uh, gain from the sunlight mainly uh, so uh, everybody uh, are advised uh, to get in uh, get sunlight during a time uh, during the day for some times okay Vitamin D uh, is basically vitamin D uh, helps to uh, helps uh, help us for uh, the stronger bones. Vitamin D helps us for the stronger bones and healthy bones. Uh, okay, and the deficiency disease of vitamin D is called rickett. R I C K E T rickett. Rickett is a deficiency disease of vitamin D. Uh, Ricket means uh, the strong uh, weakness of uh, of our of uh, bones in human bodies. Uh, um, <clears throat> okay, these are the uh, mainly vitamins that are uh, essential for our body. Vitamin E and vitamin K are also very uh, essential. And uh, minerals. There are various minerals with that we uh, that we need that our body needs. Uh, iron, zinc, copper. Okay, uh, iron, zinc mainly. Irons are very important parts uh, that we need. What is the deficiency of iron? Uh, iron, iron deficiency. Iron deficiency is uh, the the uh, very much common uh, disease that is called anemia, which is uh, generally seen in Indian uh, women because of this lack of iron. Okay, anemia. Indian women and children, uh, several Indian Indian women, uh, women and children, have suffered from this disease due to the lack of iron. So they are advised to take iron uh, efficient uh, food. That is food that is full of iron, uh, uh, such as uh, uh, you must uh, you you can have pomegranate or um, you must have uh, uh, raw various things are there in it. Uh, I just not remember about uh, things uh, about that now right now. Okay, so anemia is what anemia is the less if. Uh, less amount of blood in our body uh, when our body uh, if, if, the, if the body has uh, generally uh, 
an aged person or a, a person of uh, 35 years age uh, has a blood contained uh, 5 liter in their body but uh, if uh, if it gets reduced from 3 liter or 3.5 liter then it, uh, he can suffer from weakness from blood and that is the disease called anemia so blood is a very important thing in our uh, body and iron is the main part which uh, <coughs> for Our blood okay so these are the all the topics of components of food of six standards uh, okay so what are the nutrients we already covered it the taste for starch proteins and fat are already covered in this video energy and bodybuilding foods carbohydrates and fats are called energy uh, giving foods and proteins are called uh, uh, bodybuilding foods what is dietary fiber it means roughage uh, which uh, is not uh, full, uh, which is not which not contains the nutrients but is essential for our needs to thrown out it helps us to thrown out the digest uh, in the undigested materials uh, from our body what is balanced diet we need to uh, take intake uh, the nutrients uh, in the right quantity in the right property right amount or uh, in our diet from the deficiency of any nutrients so that these diets are called balanced diet what is deficiency disease uh, the improper applications of balanced diet can cause to the uh, deficiency disease. Okay, functions and deficiency deficiency diseases of vitamins and minerals that uh, I am already discussing through it now. Okay, so these are the components of food. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if there are any problem, you can you can uh, give uh, your comments below the video. Okay, so. Keep studying. Okay. Good night.